your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Welcome to Rip Hughes Stadium tonight where the Dothan Wolves are hosting the Enterprise Wildcats. I am Nick Kirkland bringing you the action as the Wolves get ready to enter the field. This is a huge uh, region game tonight. Enterprise comes into this game with a 3-3 three three record, but they lost to three top teams. And, uh, We'll go over their win-loss record. Enterprise beat Bay 41 to 7. They lost to Auburn 31 to 21 and lost to Central 27 to 7. But they came back and beat Smith Station 58 to 14. Then they put up 59 points on Rehoboth to win it 59 to 6. And they fell short with Pratt Bull by a score of 20, uh, 42 to 26. Now the key players you can look for for the Wildcats is Number one, Aiden White, who's the quarterback. Amari Griffin, number three, running back. Kimberlin, number five, wide receiver. And Mikael Johnson, number seven, running back. And he can do it all. Now, the Dothan Wolves come into this game with a 5-2 and two record, defeating Carroll, first game of the year, 49-19. Robert E. Lee was the second game. They won it 42-14. They lost to Auburn, 42-14. to uh, 14. They beat, beat Prattville. 14 to 10, they defeated Smith Station 57 to 43. Baker, Dothan beat Baker 43 to 15, and they fell short to Central by seven points, 35 to 28. Now some of the key players you should look for for the Dothan team, number one, Raymond, uh, zero, Raymond Blackman, who can do it all. He's just listed on the roster as athlete. Running back Peterson, number five, Thomas, number one. Ball was taken at the 20 yard line and brought out to midfield. And that was number five, I believe it was Kimberlin. So it brings up a Wildcats with a good starting field position, starting at their own 49 yard line. Great starting field position, and we'll tell you about the key players for Dothan in just a minute. Here are uh, personnel changes. The Wildcats. They pass on the very first play. It's incomplete. The quarterback is eight and white. And that was intended for number 26. So it brings up a second and 10 for the Wildcats. And they go, and it's caught. And enough for a first down. And that was caught by number four. That was a Purcell. So Wildcats get a first down. And they move into the Wolves territory, the ball on the 41 yard line of the Wolves. Hand off to number three again. That was Amari Griffin. He picks up about three. So it brings up a second and seven. For the Wildcats. And we have a flag. And we'll see what the call is. Second 
so that penalty was on Dothan, so moves the ball up five yards, so it brings up a second and three. And it's complete. Over to number four, Purcell. And he takes it down in the red zone. So it's complete inside the uh, 15 at about the 13-yard line. And they give it to the big man. I tell you what, you can look out for him, Mikael Johnson. They use him in a lot of different formations, and he can he can perform anywhere you put him. He's definitely a playmaker. A gain of about four, so brings up a second and about six for the Wildcats. Wildcats set to hand it off to number three again. That's uh, Marla Griffin. He picks up a couple of yards, so it's going to bring up a third and about three. Third and three for the Wildcats. Just over 10 minutes left in the opening quarter. This is the opening drive of the game. Enterprise had great field position. They started on their own 49-yard line. And that's going to be close to a first down. We'll see where they spot it. Look like he may be short of the first down. It's going to be fourth down for the Wildcats, and we'll see if they go for it. Looks like it's about fourth and two, and they're going for it. And uh, they're probably going to put the ball in the hands of Mikael Johnson. And I think he stopped short. But we have a flag on the play, so we'll see what the flag is. So Dothan <laughs> makes a huge mistake. A huge mistake. They had a stop on Enterprise. Now they give that should give them a first and goal. It'll be half the distance to the goal line. Well, inside the let's see, they're on about the nine-yard line. So they're gonna bring out the me to measure, I guess. Place nine. After this we go, we'll measure the first down. So that penalty hurts Dothan, but it's going to help the Wildcats. Look like it's it's going to be a first and goal for the Wildcats. And that's something Dothan has done this year. They have uh, been able to stop teams, but they've committed penalties that have kept their other teams' drives alive. So it's going to be first and goal for the Wildcats. Griffin in the backfield with uh, White. They give it to White. And he stopped short of the goal line. And there's a Dothan player with the helmet that flies off. And he has to leave the game. That's number 26. Tavares Martin. The Cavius Martin. Sorry. Going to bring up a second and goal. Yeah. 
And into the end zone for the touchdown is Amari Griffin. So the Wildcats go on their initial drive. They put together a 51-yard drive, capped off with a one-yard TD run by none other than number three for the Wildcats. That's Amari Griffin. And uh, they go for a two-point conversion. So Enterprise goes up 8-0 on the opening drive of the game over the Dolphin Wolves. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. We're set to kick off after the Wildcats scoring their opening drive. And it was all set up with great field position on the kickoff. They take it 51 yards and... Amara Griffin takes it in from about one yard out for the touchdown. Key players for Dothan you can look for is uh, number zero, Raymond Blackman, number five, Peterson's running back, Octavius Thomas, number one running back, Zach Walker, number 19 running back, and Alexander, number 22 running back. Dothan's pretty deep when it comes to running backs. The ball is taken at the 12-yard line. And he gets to the outside, breaks the tackle, and the return out to pass the 30. And that was number nine, Braxton Hornsby on return for the Wolves. So they'll be starting at their own 32-yard line. Dothan is a running team, and, and they are pretty deep in the backfield, and they definitely have some playmakers. Blackman keeps it, and he breaks a couple of tackles. It takes it down to the 39. It looked like he was going to be tackled way back then. But he takes the ball down to about the 39-yard line. We talk about Raymond Blackman. He's listed on the roster as an athlete, no particular position, because he can play just about any position. Time. They give it to Peterson, and he drives forward for about eight. So we have a player that's got to lead the game. Helmet came off. So they give him seven yards, so to bring up a second and three. Ball at the Wildcat 32 yard line. This drive started at the Dolphin 32. And second effort may have gotten Peterson that first down. It's gonna be close. He may be just a little short. I think he's about a yard short. Blackman back into the game, and uh, Peterson leads the game. Be third and one, and um, I would dare say this is four down territory. The ball is on the 30 yard line. Blackman goes through, and he, he picks up the first down. It should be enough for a first down. He needed to get to the 30, uh, 29. And he gets the first down. Six fifty-one left in the first quarter. Wildcats are leading eight to nothing over the Wolves. They scored on their initial drive going 
51 yards. And we have some movement up front. And we'll see what the call is. So that was a penalty call against the Wildcats, so it would give the Wolves uh, five more yards, so it brings up a first and five from the 24. Blackman in at quarterback. And he spins and keeps it, and he cuts it outside, and he takes it out. They're gonna call it touchdown. Blackman from the 25 yard line. I tell you what, we talk about this guy, and uh, you talk about somebody can do it all. That's Raymond Blackman, number one for the Wolves. So the Wolves go down and score. They put together a. They put together a uh, long drive. Extra point up and good. So with 6-10 left in the first, the score is Enterprise 8, Dolphin 7. You're watching the Phoenix Sports Network. The ball is taken at about the 25, and he's hit at about the 31. So the Wildcats will be starting on their own 31. And they were successful on their first position of the game. White is the quarterback. He hands it off. Wow, I tell you what, Amara Griffin got open and he got to the right side and he rolled off a chunk of yards. He takes it to the 48 yard line of Dothan. Dothan wants a timeout. So a timeout on the floor, the score is Enterprise 8, Dothan 7. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. So the Wildcats are in the Wolves' territory at the 48-yard line. This drive started on their own 31. At the 21-yard run by uh, Griffin. I think Dothan may have lined up in the neutral zone. So to bring up a first and five, two big penalties so far for the Wolves tonight. They've got to cut down on these penalties. That time there was nowhere for Griffin to go. So Delta makes a big stop, so it brings up a second and five. This is kind of what we were expecting tonight. These two teams are big time rivals. Been only seven, eight schools in Southeast Alabama. Sideline warning against the Wildcats. So it's a second and seven. A loss of two on that play.
Right. They give it to Griffin. And he goes for it to near the 40-yard line. So to bring up third and short. He has to get to the 38. The ball's on about the 41. The Wildcats uh, kind of in a hurry up. Eight seconds on the play clock. And they give it to Wright again. I'm at the Griffin again, and I think he's going to be short, but I think the Cats will go for it here. Fourth and about one. Yeah, they are going for it. And they may try to draw Dothan offside. And they give it to that playmaker, and he knows what to do with it. That's uh, Mikhail Johnson. He gets the first down to about the 35. So the Wildcats keep this drive alive. 335 left in the first. They're up 8-7. to seven. After that touchdown, they decided to go for a two-point conversion, and Dothan decided to kick the extra point. White goes deep. Touchdown. And that was caught by uh, none other than Mikael Johnson. So that was about a 35-yard TD pass. That was Dothan's problem last week against Central, giving up those long plays, passing plays. So we'll see if Enterprise go for two here. No, they're going to go for the extra point. They're leading 14 to 7. Extra point up, and it's good. So with 3-11 left in the first, the Wildcats go up by a score of 15 to seven over the Wolves. So the Wildcats are getting ready to kick off. They have had the ball twice and have scored twice. They're up 15 to seven over the Wolves of Dothan. That was a 69-yard drive. Dothan take it at the 10. And they're going to get across the 20 on that return for Dothan was uh, Braxton Hornsby. So Dothan starts on their own 22-yard line. So we'll see if Dothan can come back and put some points on the board. and 10. They give it to the second man through. And uh, that is number 22 for the, for the Wolves. A.J. Alexander. 
He's been a productive bike for the uh, for the Wolves this year. Coming off the bench, he's a freshman. A loss of uh, one, so it brings up a second and eleven for the Wolves. Okay, they moved it up. They had the marker behind the line. So it's a second and nine. It was a gain of one. They had the second down marker behind the uh, marker. Blightman keeps it. And he goes forward for just about a yard. That time the Wildcats were ready for that one. He was stopped by Dunlap. So it brings up a third and seven for the Wolves. This drive is not starting out the way they were hoping it would. The Wildcats have done a good job of countering what Dothan has thrown at them. They give it to Peterson. He gets an opening and he's out to the 31, but he's gonna be short of the first down. So Dothan got behind the chains early. Looked like they're gonna go for it. It's fourth and about two. Boy, this is a big decision early in the game here. Let's see if they try to draw him offside. Second effort should have enough, but there's a flag in the backfield. Flag against Dothan, so they'll, they'll have to punt. So penalties have really uh, starting to add up for Dothan. They've made some key penalties, committed some key penalties. So Bike is a dangerous man, number seven. You don't want to kick it to Mikael Johnson. He's back at about the 34. So. Dalton's coach get a penalty, so that would back them up even more. So they've hit one of these rough spots like they've hit last week against uh, Central. It was a, a very costly rough spot for them. So that would back the ball up inside the 15-yard line. So the Wildcats should have excellent starting field position. One thirty-four left in the first quarter. This is a huge special teams play for the Wolves. Kind of takes a built bounce, so uh, the Wildcats will be starting at the 40, at their own 49-yard line. Well, they're going to say 48. So, uh, Dalton's got to come up with a way to slow down or stop these uh, Wildcats before things get out of hand right now. The Wildcats have everything going for them. Amari with the Gary Griffin. He picks up a couple of yards. 
So it brings up a second and eight. Forty-eight seconds left in the first. Wildcats will have to get off another play before the end of the quarter. And that time, a good defensive stop for the Wolves. And on that stop was uh, number seven, the jury. So that will be the last play of the first. Well, they may try to go for it before the end of the quarter. They are. They try to draw Dolphin offside. So we've come to the end of one, and the score is Wildcats of Enterprise 15, the Wolves of Dolphin 7. We'll be back with second quarter action after this time out. You're watching the Senate Sports Network. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. At Badcock Home Furniture and More, we're overflowing with sofas ready for delivery. So there was really only one thing to do. Have a super sofa sale. Hurry in to save up to 50% on stylish stationary sofas. Plus, save up to $1,000 on reclining sofas and up to $900 on leather power sofas, all with no credit needed. Don't miss the super sofa sale happening now, only at Badcock Home Furniture and More. Just right. Welcome to Briars Warren Drug Company, your hometown pharmacy in downtown Enterprise. If you haven't visited lately, please do. You'll see some old friends and meet some new friends too. We know you're busy and we can help by getting you in and out in no time at all. If you need a vaccination, you can get it done right here in the pharmacy. We're here to help you in any way we can because that's what good neighbors do. Briars Warren Drug Company in downtown Enterprise. You can count on us. How does the bank make you feel at home? It's actually looking forward to going inside a bank again, where there's a unique feeling of hospitality that's hard to find today, anywhere. It's where they know my name and they know what I need. It's just different than any other bank. Oh, and they even know my favorite kind of cookie. Yep, that's how. Personal attention and unexpected hospitality from River Bank and Trust. Experience it. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. Hello and welcome back to Ripley Stadium as we get set to start the second quarter of action between the Enterprise Wildcats and the Dothan Wolves. I'm Nick Kirkland bringing you all the action. The Wildcats are leading 15 to seven as we start the second. And they have a third and nine. He goes deep and completes to number six. And that will be uh, Dylan. Dylan Baldwin. They are tearing Dothan up on these long, long balls. So it's a first, first and 10. But we have a flag in the end zone, but it looks like it's gonna be a touchdown. We'll see what the call is. I think it's gonna be against Dothan. He 
Yes, pass interference against Delphin. So the Wildcats throw a 17 yard pass. They have done a good job of exploring Dothan weaknesses. It'll be three possessions, three scores. I'm not sure what the delay is. There's still a lot of discussion, discussions going on. Well, the referees are in a huddle, so <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see what's what. While we have a, a break in action, I want to tell you about our YouTube channel. Let's go to Scenic Sports Network on YouTube and. Let's go to YouTube and in the search bar, type in Scenic Sports Network and you'll find a world of high school football, basketball, and other sports over the past 20 plus years. And we ask you to, uh, if you go, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and notification button. So uh, that's Scenic Sports Network on YouTube. So the Wildcats, the touchdown is good. So that makes it 21 to seven. I don't know what, what's all going on. Let's we'll see if they go for two or just for the extra point. They have, the Wildcats have pretty much controlled things here in this game so far. Dothan, put together a good first drive, but they haven't been able to do anything since. Extra point up. And it's good. So the score with 11.49 left in the first half, Enterprise 22, Dalton 7. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. So Enterprise has had the ball three times and they have scored three times. And with the penalty, they are kicking off from the Dothan 30-yard line. Boy, so Dothan has kind of followed apart here. They've had a couple of real big penalties. And so Dothan will be starting inside the 15-yard line. Wow. They've got to get out of this slump here if they want any chance of winning this game. So Dothan will be starting at their own 14. Let's we'll see if Dothan can get something going this drive. They have a long way to go. There go Peterson. He gets to the outside and he's taken out at about the 28 yard line. A gain of about 14. First and 10 for the Wolves. Eleven twenty nine left in the second. 22-7, Wildcats leading the Wolves. The Wolves have not found an answer for the Wildcats offense. And that was, that was Blackman. He picks up about four. I think they're gonna give him three. Four on it, four. So it brings up a second and six. 
into the game for the Wolves. Number 22 is uh, A.J. Alexander. He's He's been pretty productive so far this year coming off the bench for the Wolves. We have a flag. I think it's against the Wolves. No, it was against the defense, so it should bring up a second and about one. Second and one for the Wolves. Into the game for the Wolves is number one, Octavius Thomas. Thomas and Peterson in the backfield. They give it to Peterson and he goes forward and he should have enough for a first down. They're gonna mark it about the 39, uh, 39 yard line. This is a cru crucial drive for the Wolves. They need to get some points out of this drive. Blackman breaks the tackle and he goes for it for about eight a nine. He was able to uh, afford a tackle. They're going to give him eight yards on it, so it brings up a second and two for the Wolves. Back in for the Wolves is Octavia Thomas, and leaving is Raymond Blackman. Alexander and Thomas in the backfield. Nothing there, may, may have lost the yard. And we got a flag. That's a flag and the way it's been going, we, we probably know who that's against. Eight fifty nine left in the half. The Wildcats up twenty two to seven. I see a couple of flags. It may be offsetting an offsetting penalty. I'm not sure. I'll just wait for the officials to announce it. So it was two. So personal foul against both teams. So they will we play third down. It's third down now. Third and about three. Into the games for the Wolves. It's number 19, Zach Walker. a sophomore running back. Dalton has not attempted to pass all night. And nothing there, so it'll be fourth down. A loss on the play, so Enterprise has done a really good job defensively against Dalton. They've done a good job of studying the film and know what their tendencies are. So it brings up a fourth down, a fourth and about six. 
So that's the last thing Delta needed to do is get the ball back to the Wildcats, who have scored on all of their possessions. Back deep for the Wildcats, it's number seven, Mikhail Johnson. And he is a playmaker. The punt goes out of bounds, it's probably a good thing because <laughs> you don't want Johnson to get it in his hands if you're a Wolf or a Wolf fan. There's a flag. Boy, the laundry's flying tonight. The flag on the far side of the field, about the 43-yard line of Dothan. More things have slowed down with all these penalties. I think Dothan's going to have to re-kick. They'll have to punt it again. Penalty is declined. So uh, the Wildcats will be starting at their own 29. which hadn't been a problem for them. They have gone down the field every possession. This is their fourth possession. And uh, Dalton's defensive back's got to do a better job. They give it to Mikhail Johnson. And he's hit behind the line. And on that stop was Salter, a loss of one. He brings up his second in 11. And the officials are talking. I don't see a flag on the field, so I don't. I, well, there's one right on this side of the field at about the 26 yard line. That's the second unsportsmanlike on the Dothan bench tonight. They've got to get it together here. <laughs> they are just imploding. So instead of the ball then starting on the 29-yard line, they'll be out at the 40, 43. First and 10 from, from the 43 for the Wildcats. Who have, uh, they came in with a very good game plan and they've ex executed it very well. First and 10 from the 43. And they give it to Mikhail Johnson, not much there. Picks up about a yard, brings up a second and nine. Aiden White is the quarterback in the backfield with him is Amari Griffin. Pass is complete. Out to about midfield. On the stop for Dothan with a jury. So it brings up a third and about four. 
And nowhere that time for Griffin to go. He lost yards on the play, so it's going to bring up a fourth down. And this will be the first punt of the game for the Wildcats. They, they're going for it. Well, they're going for it. They're going to try to draw Dothan offside. So Dothan wants a timeout. So let me tell you again about our YouTube channel. Go to YouTube and type in the search bar, Scenic Sports Network. That's S-C-E-N-I-C -E Sports Network. And it will take you to our YouTube channel. And once you get there, make sure you hit the subscribe, notification, and like buttons. And once you get there, you'll be able to see this game with and hundreds of other high school football, basketball, and other sports from the past 20 plus years. So uh, you go on there and hey, I've had some of the uh, kids that are playing now, their parents games on. So you know, with 20 years, a lot of things happen. So go to our YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe. When you subscribe, it helps us to grow our YouTube channel and it also helps us to get more content to put on our YouTube channel. Let's go to YouTube and go to the Scenic Sports Network. We'll see if uh, the Wildcats actually punt it or go for a fake punt. The Dolphins playing safe. Blackman bikes up a, a little bit. I tell you, I would definitely look for a fake. And the punt, I tell you what, Mikael Johnson can do a little bit all. So Dothan stops the Wildcats for the first time tonight. So the Wolves will be starting on their own 21 yard line. This is a critical drive for the Wolves. They need to cut this lead if they want to go into a halftime coach because I tell you what, the Wildcats have definitely been in control of this game. They brought in a, a new quarterback for the Wolves. Carter Davis. And Blackman reverses field. And he goes out at about the 38 for a gain of about uh, 16. That play looked like it was going to blow up in the backfield, but just the athleticism of Blackman, he was able to get away and picks up some big, well-needed yards for the Wolves. First, he's in the ball at the 38-yard line. Davis in at quarterback. And not much that time for Thomas. With Davis in, it gives him the ability to pass. Also, it gives him a little more flexibility, not so one-dimensional. Because if you, you don't fit a passing game, you just stack the line. And that's what they've been doing all night long. So it brings up a second and eight for the Wolves. Blackman, he only picks up a 
a couple. And they did get the flag, a late hit. Late hit. So the Wildcats are going to be called for that. And it should give Dothan a first down. The call was at about the 44-yard line. 448 left in the first half. Personal foul against the defense. So Dothan, that will move the ball into the Wildcats territory at the 41-yard line. Carter Davis in at quarterback. Peterson in the backfield with him. They give it to Peterson. He breaks away from the tackle. And he gets the first down out. Down to about the 30-yard line. A gain of about 11. That time, Peterson was able to dodge the defender and pick up some extra yards. But we have a flag on, the, on this side of the field. And, and away from the play. We'll see what the call is. Well, the luggage has been flying tonight. I think it's going to be against Dothan. We'll see. Personal foul against uh, the Wildcats. So that will move the ball half the distance to the goal line, which will be about the 15 yard line. The ball was just at the 30, so 15 yards is halfway, half the distance to the goal line. First and 10 from the 15. The deepest Dothan's been in Enterprise territory since their opening drive. Blackman breaks the tackle, and he stopped a big play that time by number 10 for the Wildcats. That's Fred Villa. Well, uh, yeah, Fred Villa. Second and 10. Three forty-four left in the first half. Dothan has trailed this entire game. Peterson, and not much there. He picks up a couple of yards. So it's going to bring down a third down. A third and looks like nine. The ball just inside the 15. Third and long. Dalton has not attempted to pass all night. Enterprise big plays have been passing plays. Dothan wants a timeout with 2.51 left in the first half. Enterprise leads 22 to seven. Third and nine for the Wolves. The ball at the 14 yard line. This is huge for them. And it's a huge defensive play for the Wildcats. Blackman and Peterson in the backfield. And the Wildcats call timeout. So we're having a, a mind game going on right here, a little strategy sessions. You know, both teams have called back-to-back -back timeouts. 
And we have 251 left in the first half. And I guess while we got a timeout, I can kind of recap the scoring. First quarter, the Enterprise scored 849 left in the first on a one yard TD run after a 51 yard drive. And they led 8 0. They went for the two point conversion. Dothan came back with 614 left in the first. And a 25 yard TD run by Blackman to make it 8 to 7. Enterprise scored again with 311 left in the first on a 35 yard TD pass to Johnson to make it 15 to 7. And uh, end of the first was 15 to 7. The Wildcats came out in uh, with 11.49 left in the second on a 17-yard TD pass to Baldwin to make it 22-7, uh, to 7, and that's where we are right now. And another timeout. <laughs> that's uh, three in a row. I guess they don't want to leave it in, in the pocket. Going into to halftime, Dothan's out of timeouts, and and uh, the Wildcats have won. So, 2:51 left in the first half, 22 to seven, Enterprise. Thank you for helping Scenic Sports Network reach 100,000 views on our YouTube channel. Watching your favorite high school teams, football and basketball games from the past 20 years. How can you help our YouTube channel grow? Subscribe, it's free. Just go to YouTube and search for Scenic Sports Network and click on the subscribe and notification button. The more subscribers, the more content. Subscribe now. The Scenic Sports Network thanks you 100,000 times. With three timeouts, have really slowed things down. Davis in the backfield. He drops back. And he threw the pass behind the intended receiver, who was Blackman. So it brings up a fourth down, and we'll see if Jothan try to kick a field goal. Or if they'll just go for it. I think they're going to go for it. They have to get to the about the five yard line for a first down. Peterson in motion. Boy. False start against Delta. That backs him up five yards. I tell you these penalties have really hurt the Wolves tonight. So it brings up a fourth and 14, so I guess they said we'll just go for it here. I don't guess they have a field goal kicker. Peterson in motion again. So it's fourth down, and the ball is all the way back to the 24-yard line. Dothan's going in the wrong direction, and it looks like they're going to give Enterprise the ball back with uh, time left on the clock, and that's the last thing they need to do. Carter Davis, man in motion. <laughs> Blackman, but we got a flag. Boy, it would not have been enough for a first down. But it brought the crowd to their feet. Another flag, so. Wow. I tell you what, I, I don't know if I've seen this many flags in a row in my life. Well, this last two minutes. 
two and a half minutes or so is taking 15 minutes. They didn't get the first down, so Dothan defense is, is going out on the field. We'll see what the call is. Probably holding. Let's see what the So it's fourth down again. <laughs> well, who knows what's going to happen here. I think Telford's going to try for the field goal. Adam Watford is the kicker. This will be a 41-yard attempt. Enterprise is playing it safe. They think they that they may try a fake. So they fumble the snap and Dothan misses a great opportunity. They turn the ball over on downs. First time they had been in the red zone since their opening drive, and they come up empty, and that's something they can't afford to do, and they did it. So Enterprise has the ball back with uh, two minutes and 23 seconds left. They'll be starting at the 32-yard line, their own 32, and I guarantee they're gonna try, go, try to go down the field on a long pass. They have trips to the right. And there's Mikhail Johnson. And he could take it. And he does. And that's something Dothan couldn't afford to do. And they did it. <laughs> 68-yard run by Johnson. Mikhail Johnson. A good call that time. And the Wildcats are in total control. And we talked about Dothan couldn't afford to give the Wildcats the ball back. And once they did one play, and Mikhail Johnson was in the end zone from 68 yards. Extra point up, and it's good. So the Wildcats go up by a score of 29 to seven with 2.10 left in the first half. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Okay, we're set for the kickoff. I'll tell you what, everything Enterprise has done tonight, they've done it right. Dothan came into this game, I think, slightly favored, but uh, Enterprise record of three and three is a little deceiving because they lost to Three top teams to Auburn, to Prattville, and to Central. And I don't know if Dothan came in overconfident because they played Central so tough last week, but each week's different. Dothan takes the ball at the 15. He breaks a tackle and a flag. <laughs> Boy, this has been Flagville tonight. And another thing, a lot of times when teams play against an ex-coach, they get fired up for the game. They do. Coach Kennedy was at Enterprise last year, and he's here at Dothan. But it's been a very disappointing first half for the Wolves. And the penalties have just really stacked up. Anytime they get anything going, they seem to uh, – 
just uh, get going the wrong direction with penalties. And Dothan has been able to, uh, only been able to put together one drive. That was their very first drive of the game. And Enterprise has scored on all of their drives except one. Peterson, and he gets, it should be enough for Wolves first down. He needed to get to the 18, and I think he got to the 19. So it'll be first, first down, first and 10 for the Wolves from the 19-yard uh, line with 152 left in the first half. Get the ball to Peterson. I meant to uh, Blackman. And it's complete out to the 45. That was the first uh, completion for the Wolves tonight. That was from Carla Davis to Raymond Blackman. And we have uh, an Enterprise player down. That's uh, Tyson Cole. Down 137 left in the in the first half. Enterprise in charge tonight, 29 to seven. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. First and ten for the Wolves. Ball at the 44 yard line. Davis is sacked. Dothan. It's out of timeout, so they got to get up and get going quick. One fourteen. Quick out. And uh, it's complete. And that's... Over to Blackman, and Dothan's trying to mix things up a little bit now, which they didn't do any of that early in the game. Peterson in the backfield with Davis. 43 seconds, third and five. And it's caught enough for a first down. Over to Blackman. I'll tell you what, Blackman can do it all. He's out of the backfield. He can receive the ball. He can run it. He quarterbacks. And so Dalton spikes the ball with 31 seconds left and a penalty. I'm not sure what happened there. I'll tell you what, Todd and Gain and all of them, it's enough laundry tonight to make those guys rich. Oh, boy. And I'm not. Not sure, it's a first and 10, but that's before the flag, 20, uh, 31 seconds left in the half. Dothan Trail and Enterprise, 29 to seven. They wave off the flag, so no flag. Davis and Peterson in the backfield. And Enterprise wants a timeout, and that will be their last timeout of the half. 29-7 Wolves with 29-7 uh, Wildcats over the Wolves with 31 seconds left. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Second and 10 for the Wolves. 31 seconds left. Carla Davis is the quarterback. Empty backfield. Peterson in motion. He goes deep. And it's almost caught by, that was intended for Braxton Hornsby. Incomplete. 
Good defensive play by the safeties for Enterprise. So it brings up a third and 10 with 23 seconds left in the half. If Dothan wants any chance of getting back into this game, they need another score before the half. They will get the ball first uh, in the second half. I think they moved a little early. So it might come up five yards. But at this point, five yards don't make much difference. Got a third and 15. Twenty seconds left in the half. Wildcats are on top, twenty-nine to seven over the Wolves. Davis drops back. Incomplete. So it brings up a fourth down with fifteen seconds. I think they're going to send the punt team in. But I don't know. I think I would have gone for it. Because you don't want to uh, let Mikael Johnson the ball get in his hands because he can break it. So the ball will be down inside the 10 with two seconds left. And we'll see if the Wildcats decide to just take a knee or if they go for it. The way things are working for them now, I don't know if I wouldn't go for it if I was them. But the Wolves have got to regroup in the second half. Two seconds left in the half. Mikhail Johnson, he put one for 68 yards a little while ago, but Wildcats take the take a knee. So we've come to halftime in the scores here. Enterprise Wildcats, 29. The Dalton Wolves 7. We'll be back with halftime activities after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. How does the bank make you feel at home? It's actually looking forward to going inside a bank again, where there's a unique feeling of hospitality that's hard to find today, anywhere. It's where they know my name and they know what I need. It's just different than any other bank. Oh, and they even know my favorite kind of cookie. Yep, that's how. Personal attention and unexpected hospitality from River Bank and Trust. Experience it. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. Your family's health is vitally important to all of us here at Center Drugs in Enterprise in Daleville. We provide personal service and answers to your questions because you're our neighbors. 
It's so easy to become overwhelmed by what you read, see, or hear. And that's why Center Drugs is here to make things clear for you and to make things as easy as possible. So give us a call or come by and see us at Center Drugs in Enterprise or in Daleville. At Badcock Home Furniture and More, we're overflowing with sofas ready for delivery. So there was really only one thing to do. Have a super sofa sale. Hurry in to save up to 50% on stylish stationary sofas. Plus, save up to $1,000 on reclining sofas and up to $900 on leather power sofas, all with no credit needed. Don't miss the super sofa sale happening now, only at Badcock Home Furniture and More. Just right. At Enterprise Paint and Industrial, we carry a full line of Benjamin Moore paints, along with automotive paints and accessories by Sherwin-Williams and ProSpray. You will find a great selection of power tools by Makita and many name brand air tools, accessories, woodworking equipment, and hardware. We are your factory authorized service center and full line repair shop for your electrical and air tools. Newly remodeled, locally owned and operated, Enterprise Paint and Industrial, more than a paint store. of drum majors Juliana Gingrich and Jennifer Santiago. Tonight, the band will be performing their 2022 halftime show, which features the music of the Mamas and the Papas, Katy Perry, Led Zeppelin, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Bob Seger. Performing their 2022 show, California Dreamin', the Enterprise High School Big Blue Marching Band.
Thank you for helping Scenic Sports Network reach 100,000 views on our YouTube channel. Watching your favorite high school teams, football and basketball games from the past 20 years. How can you help our YouTube channel grow? Subscribe it's free, just go to YouTube and search for Scenic Sports Network and click on the subscribe and notification button. The more subscribers, the more content. Subscribe now. The Scenic Sports Network, thanks you. 100,000 times.
your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. Welcome to Briars Warren Drug Company, your hometown pharmacy in downtown Enterprise. If you haven't visited lately, please do. You'll see some old friends and meet some new friends too. We know you're busy and we can help by getting you in and out in no time at all. If you need a vaccination, you can get it done right here in the pharmacy. We're here to help you in any way we can because that's what good neighbors do. Briars Warren Drug Company in downtown Enterprise. You can count on us. At Badcock Home Furniture and More, we're overflowing with sofas ready for delivery. So there was really only one thing to do. Have a super sofa sale. Hurry in to save up to 50% on stylish stationary sofas. Plus save up to $1,000 on reclining sofas and up to $900 on leather power sofas, all with no credit needed. Don't miss the super sofa sale happening now, only at Badcock Home Furniture and More. Just right. How does the bank make you feel at home? It's actually looking forward to going inside a bank again, where there's a unique feeling of hospitality that's hard to find today, anywhere. It's where they know my name and they know what I need. It's just different than any other bank. Oh, and they even know my favorite kind of cookie. Yep, that's how. Personal attention and unexpected hospitality from River Bank & Trust. Experience it. Hello and welcome back to Ripley Stadium where the Dothan Wolves are hosting the Enterprise Wildcats. I am Nick Kirkland bringing you the action and the Wildcats are leading 29 to 7 over the Wolves of Dothan. I tell you, uh, Enterprise has scored on all of their possessions except one. You said two, they got the ball back with just a few seconds uh, at the end of the half, but all their other possessions they have scored ball goes out of bounds so it will come out to the 35. The Wildcats have been very explosive tonight and the Wolves scored on that second possession and they've only been in the red zone one other time and they were unsuccessful that time. So Dothan will be starting at the 35 yard line. First and ten for the Wolves. Mine will end up in the... He goes into the end zone. He's going to Howard Wolf House. In the backfield for the Wolves is... Number one, Octavius Thomas and zero, Raymond Blackman. They do a reverse. And there goes number 22. We talked about him. Big run that time by number 22, A.J. Alexander. He's a freshman. We talked about how he's come off the bench this year and uh, have really come out and uh, been very productive for the uh, for the Wolves. And that was a big gain down to the 22-yard line of the Wildcats. Ten Wolves and they need to come out and score on this first possession if they have any chance of getting back into this game because up until this point it has been dominated by the Wildcats. Nowhere for Blackman. He picks up maybe a yard. I think they're looking for that. Number 9-8 a little slow getting up for the Wildcats. 
A gain of one. So it brings up a second and nine. The ball at the 21. Carla Davis back into the game. Number 12, the quarterback. And he's sacked. Of, uh, about three, so it brings up a third and about 13. Because the third and 13 ball is on the 25 yard line. And it looked like the Wildcats may have gotten into the neutral zone that time. And they did. So that will move the ball up five yards to the 20 yard line. It brings up a third and about eight for the Wolves. Brings up a third down and eight. The ball is on the 20 yard line. Blackman in the backfield, along with Thomas. And Blackman goes forward for a couple of yards. So it brings up a fourth and about five. And this is huge for the Wolves and just as big for the Wildcats. As they, this is huge because the Wolves need to score some points here to stay in this game. Blackman. They fumble the ball and Enterprise picks it up and goes all the way. Scoop is but he dropped the ball in the end zone before he got in the end zone. Well, uh, it's a flag. I'm not sure, because the ball came out of his hand before he crossed the, the line. There's a, there are flags back around the 50 yard line, so I think that was coming back. But he dropped the ball before he went into the end zone. Did it look like he dropped the ball before he went in zone, Willie? It came out of his hand. Yeah, so looked like this one maybe coming back. We'll see. No, it may not be. Looks like Enterprise will. Yeah, it's a scoop and score for the Wildcats. And Wow. Exactly what Tophin didn't need to happen. It happened. That's the first turnover of the game, but it's a very expensive one. Not sure what's going on. This this has been one of those nights you just have to wait and see. The wolves have just kind of collapsed tonight. Still waiting 
on the official war. Okay, it's a scoop and score. That was probably around 70 yards. Boy, things have just fallen apart for the Wolves tonight. And you got to give Enterprise credit. They have come out with the game plan and they have executed it very well. It's 35 to 7 right now. We make it 36 to 7. And I, I think uh, everybody in the stadium on this side of the field is in total shock after Dothan played Central so tough last week. And they have come out tonight and have given up 36 points and have only been able to put up seven points. And that was the seven points came on their first drive of the game. And two Enterprise touchdowns have come on big plays. One scoop and score, and then there was a six to eight yard run near the end of the uh, first half. Nine oh nine left in the in the third. And this one looked like it's got it's gotten away from the wolves. They they've done a good job of protect protecting the ball this season, but that fumble there was very costly. And the penalty they had before then was uh costly. Was taken at the 20 and returned to the 35, a 15 yard return. That was by Jury. So Dothan will be starting at their own 35. Davis back in at quarterback. And Dothan has trailed this entire game. Enterprise on their first drive scored a touchdown and made a two point conversion to make it eight nothing. And the ball is caught. But you're not going to catch Blackman. Blackman takes it to the house. To the house, a 65-yard TD pass from Davis to Blackman. Wow. And we were talking about that at halftime with, uh, with my cameraman, Willie. And we were talking about Dothan needed to get the ball into the hands of their playmakers, passing the ball, because once you get Blackman the ball, he knows what to do with it. Extra point attempt up, and it's good. And that was from Davis to Blackman. And I tell you what, he got it in Blackman's hand, and he put on the afterburners, and he wasn't going to be caught. Huge play for Dothan. Uh, it would have been a lot different if they had prevented it. Enterprise from scoring their last touchdown. So it's a 36 to 14 lead with 8:48 left in the third. Still a lot of time left in this game, but. Uh, Dothan, if they want any chance of winning this game, they've got to stop Enterprise, get them in a three and out, or force a turnover. I tell you, that last fumble recovery 
that could have possibly been a 14 point swing there because Dothan was in the red zone and they blew that opportunity. They blown two opportunities tonight in the red zone. And they have uh, received a, a string of penalties. That one goes into the end zone, so the Wildcats will get the ball on the 20-yard line. Thirty-six to fourteen, Wildcats leading the Dothan Wolves. We'll see if the Wildcats come out and try to stretch the field again. They've done a good job of getting their receivers behind the Dothan defensive backs. And a penalty. Boy, the laundry has been flying tonight. Call against the Wildcats. That will back them up five yards. So it's an LBA first and 15 for the Wildcats. Quarterback keeps it white, keeps it. And he's got some running room. He's gonna be knocked out of bounds. Wow. A big run that time by White. <laughs> Seems like whatever Dothan comes up with, Enterprise won better than. So that takes the ball into Dothan territory down to the 30 yard line. Ball starter on Wildcats. So that would back them up five yards. They tried to catch Dothan off guard, but they were not set. First and 15. Big run that time by the quarterback, Aiden White. Griffin in the backfield with White. White drops the bike. He goes deep. And it's caught at about the 15 yard line. And we talked about Enterprise just, oh, okay, we got a holding back at midfield, so. That's coming back. Wow. Got a flag at about the 41 yard line. <laughs> Lucky for Dothan that was coming back. It'll be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. So instead of being first and goal, It's going to be first and about 30. Man in motion. He drops back and he finds Johnson open and he gets back a big chunk of those yards. You put the ball in the hand of your playmakers, and Mikel Johnson is a playmaker. They say we ran out of bounds at the 31, so it break a second and 12. Johnson again, and he's just short of the first down. He picks up about nine more. So it'll be third and one.
Third and one for the Wildcats. Dothan has not come up with an answer defensively. And that was going to come back. We have a flag down about the 14. Holding against the Wildcats. They actually only lose about a yard. Third and in uh, third and two instead of third and one. No answer for the Wolves. They have not been able to come up with any kind of an answer. Out to White, and he's just going to cruise into the end zone for the touchdown. From 22 yards out, Aiden White. That was an 80-yard drive. Excuse me, that was Amari Griffin, I'm sorry. From White to Griffin. They are scoring at will. Forty-two to fourteen, and like I said. And they go for a two-point conversion and get it. So make it 44 to 14. So the Wildcats go up 44 to 15. But more like the Wildcats are a Ranked team and Dothan an unranked team. Enterprise had been in the top ten. They were number eight and Dothan was nine and then Dothan moved up to eight this year uh this week and uh the Wildcats moved dropped out of the top ten and they have come tonight prepared. They need to win in order to keep their playoff hopes alive. And and Dothan needed a win tonight, so We'll, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, 44 to 14, a 30 point lead for the Wildcats. I never would have predicted this tonight. Ball goes to Blackman, he takes it at the eight. And he brings it to the 25. So Dothan will be starting on the on 25. Davis back in at quarterback. Davis looks, and it's complete over to uh, Jalen Corbett. It's a first down for the Wolves. That moves the ball out to the 43-yard line. First and 10 from the 43. And a flag. Or was it a timeout? I think. I think Dothan may have called a timeout. No, Enterprise called a timeout. Timeout, Wildcats. So with 6.54 left in the third, the score is Wildcats 44, Dothan 14. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Thank you for helping Scenic Sports Network reach 100,000 views on our YouTube channel. Watching your favorite high school teams, football and basketball games from the past 20 years. How can you help our YouTube channel grow? Subscribe, it's free. Just go to YouTube and search for Scenic Sports Network and click on the subscribe and notification button. The more subscribers, the more content. Subscribe now. The Scenic Sports Network thanks you 100,000 times. So it'll be our first and 10 for the Wolves. 
at the 43. And not much there. That was A.J. Alexander. He picks up a yard. Wildcats have stacked that line tonight, and Dalton has had very little success running the ball. Second and nine. The ball at the 44-yard line. Davis drops back, and it's caught by none other than Black, but he's all over the field, and it's enough for a Dalton first down. Seems like if they could have done that a little earlier in the game, it may have produced some points for them, but they kind of waited a little late to start trying to pass the ball. I don't think they had an attempt to pass in the first half. First and 10, and a flag. Boy. Ball start against the Wolves. That will back them up instead of first and 10. It'll be first and 15. Behind the chain. And that's penalties have kept them behind the chains tonight. Hey, first and 15. That was on the Wildcats 48 yard line. Carter Davis as the quarterback. Wilson stops the play, so offside Wildcats. So they give Dalton those five yards back. So Instead of being first and 15, now it's first and 10. The ball at the 43 yard line. And Enterprise has that snuffed out. That has not worked tonight. That time Blackman, I'll, I'll tell you what, the Enterprise defenders were across the line of about the time he took the snap. That's a loss of four, so it's the second and 14. Carter Davis back in at quarterback. Davis, and it's caught! By Blackman, and Black was still going. He's still going and going and going to the house. Raymond Blackman. Wow. That was from about 43 yards out. Blackman with his second touchdown reception. I'll tell you what, you get that ball in his hand, he knows what to do with it. Wow. But Dalton has not been able to stop Enterprise. So you can't exchange score. If the point is up and good. So Blackman and Davis has connected up twice. A 65-yard TD pass from Davis to Blackman, and that time it was a 43-yard touchdown pass from Davis to Blackman. With 4.27 left in the third, Enterprise leads it by a score, 44-21. Dalton has not been able to stop Enterprise. They've been able to put up a 
14 points here in the third. They go for the onside kick, and it's recovered by the Wildcats. So they will be starting at midfield. So they have a short field, the Wildcats do. 427 left in the in the uh, third. They have led the entire game. They scored first and made a two-point conversion to make it eight nothing. Then Dalton came back and scored and it was eight seven. But the Wildcats have led this entire game and like I said, they have a short field here. Give it to number two, Samuel Whitaker. So he picks up about five. So it brings up a second and five. The Wildcats going to try to take some time off the clock. But they can do it. They have uh, the running backs that can get it done. Amara Griffin in the backfield with White. Griffin is hit. He picks up a couple of yards. So it brings up the third and about two. Number three, Amara Griffin, volunteer, by this is a, a big down for the Wolves. And like I said, Enterprise has only punted one time tonight, so the Wolves have been unable to stop them and have been had trouble scoring on them, too. That time, we got a flag. Oh boy. That time, they gave it to Mikhail Johnson. And I'm not sure what the penalty is. Holding against the Wildcats. So that will back them up 10 yards from the spot of the foul. So we'll bring up a third and long. 2.53 left in the third. So it brings up a third and about third and 12. The Wolves need to make a stop here. They haven't had much luck so far tonight. As I said, uh, the, uh, the Wildcats have punted only once tonight. They have trips to the right. And Mikael Johnson is going to take the snap, and he goes. And he stopped. Born helmets are flying. So it brings up a fourth down. Boy, we saw a lot of helmets flying off. So it brings up a fourth down. A couple players got to come out of the game. Brings up a fourth and about five. And I think they're going to keep their... Well, they're getting in punt for formation, but whether they punt or not, it's a different story. Because uh, you put the, hand, the ball in the hand of uh, Mikael Johnson, he can do a lot of things with it. He's a weapon. He punts it, and it goes into the end zone, so 
Only the second punt of the night tonight for the Wildcats. 154 left in the third. So Dothan will be starting at their own 20. The crowd is starting to get into this game, hoping they can get the Wolves, give the Wolves a spark. Whatever, whatever they do, they got to do it quick. They're trailing uh, 44 to 21. So they're down by three scores. Whoa, that time. Davis had Dury open and he couldn't connect with him. I mean, Braxton Hornsby, excuse me. Hornsby open. So it brings up a second and 10. So Davis leads the game, so. Second and 10. Blackman in the backfield with Peterson. Man in motion. And Peterson has tripped up a good solid tackle that time by number 24 for the Wildcats because if he hadn't made that tackle, and that is uh, Reed. So it's a third and eight for the Wolves. Davis back in. We'll see if they try to hit Blackman again. They've been successful using him as a receiver. Looks like Wildcats are gonna blitz. And it's intercepted. Tip, intercepted. And touchdown. And a flag I saw uh, for turnover, another turnover into points. The ball was tipped just about every way they can score, the Wildcats have scored. Fifty to twenty-one. And there's a flag. We'll, I think it's a post play flag. I think it's an unsportsmanlike. Fifty to twenty-one. We talked about how. Everything Doth is thrown at the Wildcats, uh, they have answered. Holding against the Wildcats, and so. The touchdown counts. And the extra point is good. So the Wildcats go up 51 to 21 over the Dothan Wolves. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. So the Wildcats scored again. What it looks like Dothan's gonna get back in this game. The Wildcats come up, they've come up with two big defensive play, an interception for a touchdown and a scoop and score. So they've gotten 14 points here in the third, 14 points off turnovers. And Dothan had done a good job of protecting the ball most of this season, but tonight they have not done a good job and it's cost them 14 points. They 
they got behind early and just have not been able to, to climb out of this. And the return out to the 39-yard line. There was a jury on the return. One minute left in the third. It's been all Wildcats tonight. The Wolves have, you know, as close as they've been is one point. It was 8-7. And a flag. And we have had absolutely too much laundry tonight. And I think it's against the Wolves. So that one backed them up five yards. So instead of being first and 10, it's first and 15. The ball back inside the 35 at about the 34 yard line. We have to get to the 49 for a first down. That's Peterson, and he picks up about three. And another flag. Kind of losing the cool there. We'll, we'll see what the call is. Personal foul against Dothan. So instead of being first and 15, it'll be at 15, first and 30. Yeah, 15 more yards to it. They're making a lot of mental mistakes, and that's something they can't afford to do. They let this game get out of hand. Call it the second and 27. We'll say second and extremely long. Davis goes long. And a flag, interference. But he kind of threw that one up for grabs. And if, it's, if it is pass interference, he'll move the ball up 15 yards, but it's a second and 27. The call is against the Wildcats. So they just gave Dothan Dyke the 15 yards. They lost, so it will be second and 12 instead of second and 27. 31 seconds left in the third. The Wildcats on top, 51 to 21. They're up by 30. Time Davis the stone down for a sack for a loss and brings up a third down. Things are going in the wrong direction for the Wolves and right direction for the Wildcats. And we are coming to the end of the third. So we've come to the end of three, and the score is the Enterprise Wildcats 51. The Dolphin Wolves 21. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. And the end of the Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network.
How does the bank make you feel at home? It's actually looking forward to going inside a bank again, where there's a unique feeling of hospitality that's hard to find today, anywhere. It's where they know my name and they know what I need. It's just different than any other bank. Oh, and they even know my favorite kind of cookie. Yep, that's how. Personal attention and unexpected hospitality from River Bank and Trust. Experience it. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. Your family's health is vitally important to all of us here at Center Drugs in Enterprise in Daleville. We provide personal service and answers to your questions because you're our neighbors. It's so easy to become overwhelmed by what you read, see, or hear. And that's why Center Drugs is here to make things clear for you and to make things as easy as possible. Give us a call or come by and see us at Center Drugs in Enterprise or in Daleville. At Badcock Home Furniture and More, we're overflowing with sofas ready for delivery. So there was really only one thing to do. Have a super sofa sale. Hurry in to save up to 50% on stylish stationary sofas. Plus, save up to $1,000 on reclining sofas and up to $900 on leather power sofas, all with no credit needed. Don't miss the super sofa sale happening now, only at Badcock Home Furniture and More. Just right. At Enterprise Paint and Industrial, we carry a full line of Benjamin Moore paints, along with automotive paints and accessories by Sherwin-Williams and ProSpray. You will find a great selection of power tools by Makita and many name brand air tools, accessories, woodworking equipment, and hardware. We are your factory authorized service center and full line repair shop for your electrical and air tools. Newly remodeled, locally owned and operated, Enterprise Paint and Industrial, more than a paint store. Welcome back to Ripley Stadium as we begin the fourth quarter action. Well, the Enterprise Wildcats are leading the Dothan Wolves by a score of 51 to 21, and they just hit Dothan for another loss. So it's going to bring up a. I think it's going to be a fourth down. It's fourth down, so the Wolves will have to punt. That drive started on their own 39. And they wound up on the 30. Going in the wrong direction and back deep is Mikael Johnson. Like I said, he's he's like Raymond Black when he can do it anytime. Good high punt. He takes it on the 30. He spins out of a tackle, but then uh, Johnson is brought down by number 34 of the Wolves, Gabe Smith. So the Wildcats will be starting on their own 33. So we have a, a player down and while we have a break, I'll tell you about our YouTube channel. Go to YouTube and in the search bar, I'll put in Scenic Sports Network. That's S-C-E-N-I-C. -E or just point your phone to the screen right now. And we have a QR code on there that will take you directly to our YouTube channel. So uh, you go there and you'll find hundreds of high school football and basketball and other games from the past 20 years. Uh, for Wildgrass area teams. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification button and also the like button. And Scenic Sports Network on the YouTube. So 
So it'll be first and 10 from the 33 for the Wildcats. Right, drops back and he's sacked. First sack of the game for the Wolves. Very first. That sack was uh, Ezekiel Scott. So loss of about five. Second and 15. Second out in 15. One of the few positive defensive plays the Wolves have had tonight. Johnson, and he's hit shy of the 40-yard line. Needed to get to the 43 for a first down. He brings up a third, third and five. Hit the backfield. White, Aiden White in the backfield. And he runs out. And he gets the first down and more. He's tough. White picks up the first down on third and short and takes the ball up close to midfield. 9.46 left in the fourth. Wildcats are going to take their time. They have this game well under control. Fifty-one to twenty-one. And that time. They got to uh, Amara Griffin. Nothing there. Picks up maybe a goal. Salter Hillman comes off, so he has to leave the game for at least one play. Nine, nine minutes left. This, this, the results have been unexpected. Pass is complete. Over to uh, Purcell. It's going to be close to a first down. It's going to be short by about a yard. So it brings up a third and one. And he's going to be short. No gain on the play. That was a Murray Griffin brings a fourth one, and Wildcats will go for it. They need about a yard. The uh, the call timeout with a tick of the play clock left. So 7:37 left in the 4:51. Wildcats 21 Wolves. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Fourth and one for the Wildcats. White. And a good run, and he's still on his feet. That's uh, Mara Griffin. It's a first down, so the Wildcats can chew up some more clock and maybe even put some more points on the board. Wildcats have scored 14 points in the second half off. Joseph Turner, a scooping score and an interception for a touchdown. 
And that pass was broken up by Curry. So it brings up a second and 10. That was a penalty. So it brings up a second and 15. Seven twelve left. Not much that time for the Wildcats on that stop was number 45, Mikhail Lowe. So it brings up a second and 14. Brings up a second down and 14. 649 left in the fourth. Wildcats are just taking as much time as they can. Running the play clock down. Give it a number two, and he is dropped. That time, Salter on the stop. Number two on that carry was uh, Samuel Whitaker. Brings up a third and 11. Just over six minutes left. Incomplete. Wow. And that pass was intended for for sale. So it brings up a fourth. A fourth in uh, 12. And I think they're going to go for it. That would be a Long field goal attempt, and they, they're going to go for it. He's short. So, Dothan stops the Wildcats on fourth and long. So, they will get the ball back. Wildcats was stopped about three yards, three yards short. First time they turn it over on downs. They've only had two punts tonight and that time over on downs. So Dothan gets the ball with 546 left. And they'll be started on their own 24. Call them at that time. Hey, go ahead and call them. Get your ride out the way to the stadium. First and ten, Wolves. Flag was against the Wildcats, so it brings up a first and five for the Wolves. This has been a long game because of all of the penalties. Thomas. 
marked the ball at the 28. Second and six for the Wolves. 5.39 left in the fourth. Wildcats in charge, 51 to 21. We were expecting a much closer game. So Thomas picks up a couple of yards. So it brings up a third, a third and about three. Thomas leaves the game. Picks up a third down and three. And a good run that time by number 19 for the Wolves. And we talked about him, Zach Walker. He's a sophomore running back. So it's enough for a Wolves first down. And we have an Enterprise player now in front of the Duncan sideline. 457 left in the fourth. Enterprise leads it 51 to 21. Thank you for helping Scenic Sports Network reach 100,000 views on our YouTube channel. Watching your favorite high school teams, football and basketball games from the past 20 years. How can you help our YouTube channel grow? Subscribe it's free, just go to YouTube and search for Scenic Sports Network and click on the subscribe and notification button. The more subscribers, the more content. Subscribe now. The Scenic Sports Network thanks you 100,000 times. So the Wolves have a first and 10 at about the 43 yard line. And Blackman keeps it and he picks up a first down and down near the 40 yard line. Talking about a utility guy. That <laughs> guy can do it all. He can do it all. He has two receiving touchdowns tonight. And uh, they list him on the roster as athlete. That means he plays every position. And a good run that time, a pickup of about six or seven. 19, Zach Walker. The ball. Walker. Top line number five, Kevin Kimberlin. So Dothan came into this game ranked number eight in the state with a five and two record. And, down, and they're going to leave tonight with the five and three record. We have two more region games they got to play, and they need to win both of them in order to stay and have any playoff hopes. Peterson, he breaks a tackle and he gets the first down near the 25. They're gonna mark it down at about the 26. First and 10 Wolves. Five, 333 left. In the game. Blackman keeps it. He spins out. And he takes it inside the 10. Down to about the 9. Blackman continues to show his athleticism and skills. Just under three minutes left. First and goal from the nine. Blackman and Peterson in the backfield. They give it to Peterson. He goes up the middle and he takes it down to the one yard line. Looked like he was going to get into the end zone, but the Wildcats stopped him just shy of the goal line. So it'll be second and goal from the two. 
2.42 left in the fourth. Blackman and Peterson in the backfield again. This time Blackman keeps it, and he enters his way into the end zone for his third touchdown from two yards out. And Blackman found the scene and he took it right in for the touchdown. So it's a 51 27 lead for the Wildcats. Nothing's going for the extra point. Your point up, and it's good. So, with 2:29 left in the fourth, the score is the Wildcats 51 and the Wolves 28. We're watching the Scenic Sports Network. So we're set for the kickoff as Elton puts together a 76-yard drive, topped off by a two-yard TD run by Blackman. Blackman has two receiving touchdowns and one rushing touchdown. And Looks like he may have another one. I just have to check. Those I remember off the top of my head. Let's see if Dalton goes for the onside kick. They tried it early, but were unsuccessful. Notice the side to, to kick it all the way back and it's taken at the eight. And they're taken down at the six. So the Wildcats will be starting on there. Three. On six yard line. They'll probably just run the clock out. Let's see, Dothan has three timeouts left. So they will be starting at the seven yard line. They're on seven. Boy, he's gone. Nope, he was run down. It looked like he was going to go all the way, uh, Amara Griffin. But I tell you what, Kibion Drury ran him down to stop another big touchdown. He takes him down at. And there's a flag. I don't know if it was a face mask or what. Uh, looks like they're pointing toward the Enterprise. So I'm, I'm not sure what the call is, and I'm not going to guess. I don't know if I've ever seen this many flags in one game. I think it may have been holding. Let's see. Must have been a personal foul. That was 15 yards, so the ball is back out at the 32 yard line. The ref Mike was walking earlier, but evidently it's not now. It's a first and 10, the ball on the 32. Just over two minutes left in the fourth. The Wildcats leading 51 to 28. And it looked like Amari Griffin was gonna take that one all the way, but I'll tell you what, Kevion Drury showed his speed. He was able to catch him and before he got into the end zone and then a, a penalty. Backs the ball up to the 32-yard line. Hey, 
And that was uh, Johnson on the carry, Mikhail. Loss of about a yard, so it brings up second and 11. And they're gonna, uh, Wildcats gonna take as much time as they can. Dothan has three timeouts left, but I don't think they're gonna use them. <laughs> Really, no need to. White gives it to Johnson, who pull, drives it power forward. And to the 25 yard line. Ball carrier, number seven, Michael Johnson. It's up by number 38, Asim White, and number 24, Marcus. So they bring up a third and three. Brings up a third down and three. 40 seconds left. They will. They can take a knee and then run the clock out on the next player. They may just try to put some more points on the board. And Johnson, uh, he gets the first down. So it's the first down. And so they're just going to let the clock run out. So final score is the Wildcats 51, the Wolves 28. Okay, kind of recapping the score tonight between the Wolves of Dothan and the Wildcats of Enterprise. The first quarter, Enterprise scored on that first possession with 8.49 left for the first on a one-yard TD run. And uh, that made the score 8 nothing. Dothan came back and put together a 68-yard drive, and it was capped off with a 25-yard TD. Uh, run by Blackman to make it eight to seven. Enterprise gets the ball again, and that was with 6.14 left. Uh, Enterprise gets the ball again, a 35-yard TD by Johnson with 3.11 left in the first to make it 15 to seven. And at the end of the first, it was 15 for Enterprise, seven for Dothan. Wildcats scored again on a 17-yard pass to uh, Baldwin from White and with 11.49 left in the second to make it 22-7. Uh, they scored again on a 68-yard run with 2.10 left in the half to make it 29-7 at halftime. Then with 9.09 left in the third, Dothan fumbled. It was a scooping score for about 70 yards by Enterprise to make it 36-7. Then Dothan came back with 8.48 left in the third on a 65-yard TD pass from Davis to Blackman to make it 36-14. But Enterprise came right back on a two-yard TD pass quite to, uh, to Griffin uh, to make it 44-15. And Dothan came back and put together a 75-yard drive, capped off with a 43-yard TD pass to uh, to Blackman, and then the next score came on an intercepted pass, where the Wildcats intercepted the pass and goes into the end zone from about uh, 20, about 30 or 40 yards. I don't I don't have exactly that many yards to make it 51-21. Then Dalton scored again with 2:29 left on a two-yard run by Blackman. So Blackman had all of those 28 points tonight. So the Wildcats win it by a score of 51 to 28 over the Wolves of Dothan. And thank you for watching the Scenic Sports Network. Number one source for high school sports.
You're watching the Scenic Sports Network.